in terms of the construction machinery uh, we are we are very happy that some of uh, the complex machineries are being uh, uh, you know brought into india and also manufactured into uh, india or remodeled in india we have been using the tunnel boring machines on some of our underground metro projects which are very complex and you know that helps us accelerate the work do more complex projects uh, then we have projects like the trans arbor sea link where you know uh, we are using barges and uh, cranes to erect uh, almost uh, uh, you know sections which weigh more than 100 tons in the middle of the sea so you know this happens when we work together with our partners in the construction machinery uh, space and develop solutions like this we see the sustainability related projects as uh, a significant market for us going forward uh, things like green hydrogen are going to be very very relevant uh, in days to come uh, as uh, we move rapidly on our journey towards decarbonization so uh, the battery manufacturing plants uh, some of the panel solar panel manufacturing giga factories uh, you know Uh, green hydrogen projects so all of these projects will need the construction industry to pitch in to build these projects at a fast pace uh, so that it can be scaled faster and uh, the journey to decarbonization can be accelerated so that's one part of how we will support the journey uh, the second is as i said to decarbonize as much as we can uh, at our sites and uh, you know may it be uh, water uh, recycling uh, made the alternate power as i mentioned before uh, sustainable fuels so we have to look at the whole carbon footprint during our construction and how we can keep reducing that and eventually get to a zero emissions at our site uh, this is the whole ecosystem we have to work towards and uh, when that happens it will be a great uh, you know great achievement for the whole industry today we are also facing a, a shortage of skilled labor so when we look at what's going to happen in future that uh, the shortage of skilled labor is going to be a strong headwind for our uh, infrastructure projects technicians foreman uh, operators uh, they all need a certain uh, level of uh, you know certification to be able to do their jobs well more and more training so uh, we invest a lot in skill development uh, we work with industry bodies uh, uh, we work with the national skill development council uh, we have been uh, regularly conducting trainings uh, on a weekly basis we have conducted almost 6000 trainings uh, every year uh, and this is to upgrade those skill sets looking forward to uh, attending bomma and uh, interacting uh, with different stakeholders see uh, finally as i said we have to be successful and deliver predictable projects uh, on time on budget and for that to get together uh, with uh, all our partners uh, may it be uh, some of the government agencies uh, which are very critical to make this work and work with us Uh, uh regulators uh, manufacturers of construction machines uh, were very critical component of delivering a project looking at what technology developments are happening uh, also having a forum to discuss our aspirations and goals for the future and how the industry can support us so all this and more uh, can happen uh, and will happen during this event and uh, i look forward to